When it comes to taking charge of your reproductive health, understanding contraception is an essential first step. Birth control, also known as contraception, refers to the various methods, devices, and practices that people use to prevent pregnancy. With so many options available, it can sometimes feel overwhelming to choose the method that's right for you. Let's explore the basic types of contraception, how they work, their advantages and disadvantages, and important considerations when making your choice. At the most fundamental level, contraception can be divided into a few main categories. Hormonal methods, barrier methods, intrauterine devices, permanent methods, fertility awareness, and emergency contraception. Each type works in its own unique way to prevent pregnancy, and each comes with its own set of benefits and potential drawbacks. Let's start with hormonal methods. These forms of birth control use synthetic hormones to regulate or stop ovulation, the release of an egg from the ovary. If there's no egg released, there's nothing for sperm to fertilize, which means pregnancy can't occur. The most common hormonal methods include the birth control pill, the patch, the vaginal ring, injections, and implants. The birth control pill is taken orally every day, and it's available in two main types, combined pills, which contain both estrogen and progestin, and progestin-only pills. The pill is highly effective when taken consistently at the same time every day. The patch is a small adhesive sticker worn on the skin that releases hormones through the skin into the bloodstream. It's typically changed once a week. The vaginal ring is a flexible device placed inside the vagina where it releases hormones locally. It's replaced monthly. Injectable birth control often referred to by the brand name Depo Provera, is administered by a healthcare provider every three months. The implant, a small rod inserted under the skin of the upper arm, provides long-term protection, up to three years, by slowly releasing hormones. Hormonal methods are popular because they're convenient, discreet, and can also help regulate menstrual cycles and reduce period pain. However, they can cause side effects like mood changes, weight gain, headaches, and, in rare cases, more serious risks such as blood clots. Some people may not be able to use hormonal methods due to underlying health conditions, so it's important to consult with a healthcare provider. Next, let's look at barrier methods. These physically block sperm from reaching the egg and are available in both male and female versions. The most common barrier method is the male condom, a thin sheath worn over the penis during intercourse. Condoms are widely available, affordable, and offer the added benefit of protecting against sexually transmitted infections, or STIs, which makes them a top choice for many people. The female condom is a pouch inserted into the vagina before intercourse and provides similar protection. Other barrier methods include the diaphragm and cervical cap which are reusable, dome-shaped devices inserted into the vagina to cover the cervix and block sperm entry. They're used in combination with spermicide, a chemical that kills sperm, for added effectiveness. Spermicidal products, such as gels, foams, or suppositories, can also be used on their own, but they're less effective than when combined with another method. Barrier methods are non-hormonal, which makes them a suitable choice for those who cannot or prefer not to use hormonal contraception, they require use with every act of intercourse and, in the walls of diaphragms and cervical caps, correct placement and sizing. Intrauterinian devices, or IUDs, are a form of long-acting reversible contraception, also known as LARC. These small T-shaped devices are inserted into the uterus by a healthcare professional. There are two main types, hormonal IUDs, which release a small amount of progestin, and copper IUDs, which are hormone-free. Both types create an environment in the uterus that is inhospitable to sperm and prevent fertilization. IUDs are among the most effective forms of contraception, with protection lasting from 3 to 12 years depending on the type. Once in place, they require little to no maintenance and are easily reversible if you decide you want to become pregnant in the future. Some people experience cramping or irregular bleeding after insertion, but these symptoms often subside over time. Permanent contraception, also known as sterilization, is intended for individuals or couples who are certain they do not want any or more children. 
For women, this is most commonly done through tubal ligation, where the fallopian tubes are blocked or sealed to prevent eggs from reaching the uterus. For men, vasectomy is the procedure of choice, which involves cutting or sealing the tubes that carry sperm. Both procedures are highly effective, but they are meant to be irreversible. So careful consideration and counseling are recommended before making such a decision. Fertility awareness methods, sometimes called natural family planning, involve tracking the menstrual cycle to determine which days are most likely to result in pregnancy by observing changes in body temperature, cervical mucus, and the timing of periods. Individuals can avoid intercourse or use additional contraception during fertile days. This method requires diligence and consistency and while it is hormone-free and has no side effects, it is less effective than many other forms of birth control, especially if not followed precisely. Emergency contraception is intended as a backup method to prevent pregnancy after unprotected sex or contraceptive failure, such as a broken condom. The most common form is the emergency contraceptive pill, sometimes called the morning after pill, which is most effective when taken as soon as possible after the event. A copper IUD can also be used as emergency contraception if inserted within five days. Emergency contraception is not intended for regular use, but can be a crucial option in unexpected situations. When choosing a birth control method, it's important to consider factors such as effectiveness, convenience, side effects, cost, protection against STIs, and future fertility goals. No one method is best for everyone, and what works for one person may not be suitable for another. Open and honest discussions with a healthcare provider can help you weigh the pros and cons and arrive at a choice that aligns with your health, lifestyle, and values. Finally, remember that contraception is not just about preventing pregnancy. It's also about taking control of your health and your future. Whether you choose a method that's temporary or permanent, hormonal or non-hormonal, the most important thing is that it fits your life and your needs. Staying informed, asking questions, and being proactive about your reproductive health are the best ways to ensure that you can make choices with confidence and clarity.